When it comes to fighting contact form spam on your WordPress website, it's best to tackle it in a few different ways instead of relying on one method. And I was just recently hit with a bout of contact form spam on one of my client websites. And I want to show you how I fix this. It's just a few lines of code that you can add to your functions.php file. So I think the reason this was happening was because I had reCAPTCHA installed on my client websites. And you can see from the notification up here that Google's migrating this to enterprise reCAPTCHA, which basically means you, you might have to pay for it. So you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard and go to contact and click on the contact form that you want to edit. And right above the submit button, you can copy and paste this new text field called the honeypot. We're also giving it an ID and a class. And the way this works is we're going to hide it. That way, people that visit the website don't see it, and therefore it's going to stay blank. But bots don't notice that it's hidden because that's done with CSS, and this input is still going to be there on the HTML. So if they're just scraping HTML, they're going to fill this out. And we can tell that if it's not empty, a bot filled it out. So let's save this, and we need to add CSS code to hide it. So I'm going to go over to Divi Theme Options. And on the bottom here, they have a little section for custom CSS. You may also be able to do this from the appearance customize menu. There used to be an option for additional CSS there. So you just need to figure out the best way to add CSS to your theme. And we're adding this display none to make sure that it's hidden with this important tag to make sure that always gets overridden. And then next, we're going to edit the functions.php file, which you want to have a child theme installed if you do this, because otherwise that functions file will get overwritten when your theme is updated. But normally, you can go to your theme file editor from appearance. In this case, I'm using SiteGround security, and I think it hides that. So let me see if I can go to the site security and unhide it. Yeah, this is it. Disable themes and plugins editor. So if I disable that and refresh the page, hopefully we have the link here where we can see our theme files. And here you go. So now we can jump into our functions php file and i could have also added that css to the style.css and you can paste or write code at the bottom of this file so i have my code snippet here which i'll share in the description below if you want to use it we're basically just filtering this text field with this function cf7 honeypot validation filter up here all we're doing is checking if that's empty and then we can output this message spam detected please try again so that's it i'm going to save this and we'll test it out Here's my contact form. And if we go into the code, I'll right click and inspect this. Let's see if we can find that hidden field. These input fields are wrapped in the paragraph tag. And you can see here, this is the honeypot field. So we got this working and I can go over here and toggle the display none property to show it, to test it out. So let me just fill in this with fake information. So I got these forms filled out and I just put in the string ABC here. So if I hit the submit button, hopefully we get our error message. And there you go. Spam detected. Please try again. So that's the quick fix. And I recommend that you do this in combination with other services. I do have the plugin Akismet installed. I don't have this on all my client sites, but I have it on here. And I actually use another method of custom code where I check that text area for spam keywords. And the way that I like to package all this code, instead of doing the functions.php file, I usually do it in a plugin. And I have videos for both of these things. You can check out the other way that I protect the contact form from spam. In a tutorial, I'll link up in the top right. And I'm pretty sure I have a tutorial going through how to install and create this custom plugin if you want to write code for your WordPress website. It's a good way to learn the basics of WordPress development. If I'm correct and I do have a tutorial on that, I'll also link that up in the top right here. And like I mentioned, if you want this code, go ahead and check out the description below. I'll link it up for free. And I got some other tools and content that I think you'll find interesting. So check out the links in the description below. Last but not least, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if you implemented this. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more tutorial videos like this one.